it's about clarity of thought. I think that's really the key. And in the same way you want to have clarity in the thoughts that you convey in your writing is the same way you want to have clarity in your thoughts in conveying them to a computer via a computer program. In computer science, there's a couple different areas that I'm involved in. The main one being computer science education, which is how do you actually get students to understand computing? How do you put together curricula that would motivate students to really want to go into the discipline? And for them to understand how computing relates to other things, both in their lives, other disciplines, how they can really impact the world through computer science and make that appealing and attractive. And then the other, sort of the more technical portion of where I spend my time is on a sub area of artificial intelligence called machine learning, which is about data analysis and building models for things like prediction or understanding a domain. And things get really fun when you begin to put those together. So how can you use data analysis techniques to understand how people learn so you can make learning experiences better for them? When you're building models of a domain or when you're trying to do some kind of data analysis or build a computational model, it's often easy to think it's just about the mathematics or just about the algorithm. And in fact, what it's most important is to convey to other people what is this model trying to tell you, what is the insight you're getting, and also explain the method so that other people can use it. I've actually seen some cases of extremely powerful computational techniques which even after they were invented took years to catch on and part of the reason why they took that long to catch on was the people who invented them did not do a good job of explaining to others or writing about them to really show what the power of those methods were, the circumstances in which they could be used, how they would be appropriately harnessed. And so as a result, it took years until someone else who really had the writing and communication skills came along to take that information, digest it, and then present it in a way that more people could understand it, that the real value of those techniques were sort of appreciated by the community. Think about all the cases where you get some initial reaction to something and over time your thought process revisits it and you gather more information and you're able to better clarify your opinions or your thought about something. That, in terms of clarity of thought, is the same thing, I believe, that goes on in the writing process. If, one per if someone just puts down the first thing that comes into their head and after they've gotten a certain amount of text written down, there's a period and that's the end of it, there isn't that process going on of trying to really revise and clarify one's thinking and bring in new information as relevant to dig deeper into the issue at hand to really understand it better. I mean, if you look at some of the issues we are confronting right now, things like cybersecurity, things like intellectual property and ownership, and a lot of these topics have really emerged in the last few years in the field of computing but they're argued by people in the fields of law and public policy and political science. Computing is becoming a substrate for work in many other fields. And so part of that is to really make progress significantly in other fields. Computer scientists need to be able to talk, to communicate, to write in an understandable way for people in other fields, and in turn to be able to understand the things that they are being written in other fields in some sense that are directed toward computer scientists because it's that kind of cross-disciplinary work which involves cross-disciplinary communication that really allows us to make progress in the boundary of these fields. So I think it's getting increasingly important for computer scientists to be able to talk to people outside of their field. Really think about how you can communicate your ideas to someone else and have real clarity of thinking. So in the same way that we think about writing a computer program is having sufficient clarity in your thinking to be able to explain what you want done in detail to a computer so that a computer could execute it, which is has to be extremely clear and extremely precise. Can you bring that same kind of clarity to your the presentations you make, the communication you have with other people, can you make your writing that clear that the message that you're trying to convey is really that unambiguous and understandable by someone else?
But at the end of the day, why do we write, why do we speak, is because there are ideas and things that we feel are important that we want to convey to someone else.